Hello, welcome back to Big Hunter Channel. My name is Hunter, and today we're going to be taking a look at Star Wars set. Set number 75134, Galactic Empire Battle Pack. And of course, this is from the video game Battlefront. And recommended ages are 6 to 12. And let's go ahead and take a look at the box. As always, I like to show all sides of the box. And as usual on this small set, there's not much on the side of the box, but there is the back of the box. Alright, let's go ahead and open this and take a look inside. Okay, so we get one instruction booklet, two bags, pink fancy. Alright, let's go ahead and build this set. Ooh, picture of all the troopers that we get in the uh, Force Awakens set. Kind of cool. Okay, so I have the set built. Let's look at the gun turret first. Okay, so we have the gun turret, and as you can see, this gun, well, this part is the gun turret, looks like that's some kind of command station, with the stud shooters mounted there as well. And the uh, only thing that really moves or swivel is this uh, gun turret with the, with the uh, spring-loaded missile here, and let me fire that. And it does, does turn all the way, oh, it got stuck right there, but it does seem to turn most of the way all the way around. But let me fire that, just press down on it, boom, it's gone. And this is just simulated gun thing here, I guess. And this flaps do move. It looks like just kind of protection for the little command station there. And like I said, you could just mount your stud shooters there or have your uh, minifigures hold it. And now you do come with four of these uh, stud shooters, one for each minifigure. Um, but when not in use, when they're manning the station, I guess, you could just mount it on there and use it as like a, another gun turret or just place to hold your weapons. Uh, and by the way, they do give you extra of these to make your gun into the, the longer version, but I'll show that a little bit later when, when we look at the minifigures. But there's the back of the turret. And, and as you can see on the back command station, minifigures cannot sit, but I could stand there, there's two studs to stand. And down and below, there is a place for minifigures to sit, like so. And of course, you could, I guess you could have another minifigure stand here if you wanted to. Like that. Oh, there's a little bit of a tight cramp and this won't swivel as much. But I do have to say, I do like this little build. Um, of course, with this battle packs, they always try to give us a little tiny vehicle or a little gun turret. Um, but I do like how this came out. Um, I don't play the Battlefront games, so I don't know if this actually appears in the, in the game or not. But I totally think that it will fit in uh, like the Star Wars um, movies and stuff very well. It's a little station with gun turret, so I do like it. It's a nice little build. Okay, the first minifigure we'll be looking at is the Shock Trooper. I really like the red coloring on this Shock Trooper. If you compare them to your regular Storm Trooper from other sets, it's not only the, the coloring that they've changed, but they also changed the printing as well. If you look at the chest piece, it's uh, different. The leg is different as well. There's two stripes on that leg and one stripe here. And the back also has different printing as you can see they did a whole new printing for the uh, for these stormtroopers for the battle 
uh, front the battle pack. So initially I wasn't too sure about this shock trooper because initially I was thinking I'd rather just have uh, plain three stormtroopers but after looking at this and all the printing I do like it a lot. Let me, no, let's go ahead and take a look at the head. Same uh, clone trooper, angry clone trooper face. And of course with the clone troopers we don't get double sided printing but that's all right. And also one thing to note is that all the all the four minifigures do come with the this stud shooter blast stud shooters. And they do give you the four uh, pieces of these to make it the longer blaster. This piece is right here. So you can make all your uh, stud shooters into a pistol or this long blaster. I personally think it looks better longer like this cuz it looks less like a megaphone. It looks like um, I don't know, like a rocket launcher or just like a larger blaster, so I do like the look of it. I don't know what you guys think. Um, but, uh, please helmet back on. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the next figure. And as I've mentioned, not only does this Battle Fun Stormtrooper have, um, like battle worn damage prints, but it's also a diff completely different print on the body armor as well, as you can see and even the uh, the nose little print there looks a lot more shallow than curved up like that I really do like the the battle scars it just makes it a little bit more unique and I do like this this little piece is a printed piece so yeah that little one by one tile is a printed piece Oops, that goes on there like that I do like that a lot and as you could probably have guessed it's just gonna be another angry cone face and just to show you the back there is back printing as well And of course, just like in the uh, Battlefront, uh, they do have a little jetpack, which I do like. Okay. Alright, let's look at the last minifigure. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the officer. I do like this little hat piece. Um, nice front printing, a little bit of back printing. I do like that we get one officer in this battle pack. I always like it when the ratio is three troopers to one officer. I, to me, that's perfect. That's the, I don't know about uh, what other people think, but to me, uh, that's perfect for army building. Because you want some officers well, but you don't want uh, you don't want to just get two uh, troopers. You want to get uh, at least three. So, and if you get all four, that's all right too. But I just don't like it when you get two troopers and two something else. So to me, uh, one officer and three uh, troopers is ideal. Okay, this is a final look at the battle pack set, set number 75134. Um, I did want to mention that uh, you do get 13 of these studs. So if you lose some, there's, it's nice that they give you extra. Uh, overall thoughts, I really like this set. I really like that little gun turret uh, better than some of the other gun turrets. Um, I do like all the extra printing that you get on this battle-worn battle damaged stormtroopers like it a lot and I really like the the shock trooper uh, a lot better than I thought and I do appreciate the ratio and three stormtroopers to one officer so uh, overall I'm very happy with this set uh, highly recommend it um, it's definitely be a nice addition to your sets and collection and I think it'd be an excellent way to build an, uh, a stormtrooper army and I do think that it goes really well and with the other battle packs like the 75078 set, the Stormtroopers, I think they, they'll just blend in together. Whether you play Battlefront or not, if you're a LEGO Star Wars fan, I definitely think that you will enjoy this set. Um, so I highly recommend it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, review. This is Brick Hunter signing out. Bye!